Okay, on the 7.1 quick check, the first question is asking about uh, state three things that must occur for a reaction to take place. So the idea is that we must have collisions. Okay, with enough energy. And in the right orientation. Okay, five things that can be done to slow down a reaction. Okay, we've been talking about how to speed up a reaction. And we said, well, we could increase the uh, concentration so we can decrease the concentration. Okay, uh, we could cool down the reaction. And then we could uh, add, okay, we, there's a catalyst, you know, catalyst will speed up a reaction. Uh, the opposite to that is we can add an inhibitor. And that's something that actually slows down the reaction. It gets in the way of the normal reaction. Um, the other one, we could increase the pressure of a gas. So we're going to decrease the pressure of a gas. And the last one is that we to speed up, we could have a, uh, increase the surface area. So here we can decrease the surface area. Okay, and those things link to the ones on top. Okay, collisions, if we did decrease the concentration, decrease the pressure, uh, decrease the surface area, those are all involving collisions. If we cool down the reaction, that's involving the energy. And if we add an inhibitor, okay, then that's talking about the correct orientation. Okay, so potential energy graphs. On the potential energy graph to the right, identify the potential energy of the reactants. So right here, that's the reactants. Okay, okay, didn't do it up for the products. Here's the products. Okay, the potential energy of the transition state. Okay, this is the transition state. The activation energy, okay, is the energy from the reactants to the transition state. And the symbol for that is E sub A. And finally, the delta H, okay, would be the uh, energy from the reactants to the products. So that's this guy here. And notice in this case, it's going to be a final minus initial. It's always final minus initial. Small number nine minus a big number. So this is going to end up being a negative delta H, downhill negative delta H. Okay, if the potential energy of the products were negative 30, so if the products were negative 30, and the transition state was negative 5, and the products were negative 80, okay, I got that wrong. Okay, so I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay, so start again. The reactants are negative 30. Okay, the transition state is negative 5, and the products are negative 80. Okay, so calculate the activation energy. So it's negative 5 minus negative 30, so that's going to be a 25. So the activation energy, okay, is 25. And these are kilojoules. And the delta H, the purple one here, okay, it's going to be negative 80 minus negative 30. So that's going to be a 50, negative 50. So it's going to be a small number minus a larger number. We're going to get negative 50 kilojoules. Okay, now what would happen if we were to put in a catalyst? Okay, so if I'm going to add a catalyst, I'm going to call that blue. And all that does is somehow lowers this energy barrier. Okay, just an arbitrary amount. And the and new activation energy is going to be from here to here. Okay, and so that new activation energy will be a short just to the top of our new transition state. Okay, last little piece on these kinetic energy diagrams. 
Okay, uh, it says show what would happen. Okay, on each one, color the molecules that collide with enough energy. Okay, um, I'm sorry. So both graphs, draw a line that represents the temperature of the sample. Okay, temperature of the sample is right down the middle. So that is the average kinetic energy. Okay, and color the molecules that collide with enough energy to react. Okay, so I'm going to color them in blue. So there's that one, and there's that one. Okay, those are the particles that have enough energy to react at this temperature. So on the first one here, show what would happen if the temperature were increased, then color in the molecules that would react. Okay, if I increase the temperature, I'm going to have a higher average kinetic energy, which means this curve is going to be shifted to the right. Okay, so I'm going to kind of stretch the curve to the right. And now all these particles are going to be able to react. Okay, the second one, what would happen if I put in a catalyst? Okay, if I put in a catalyst, that means my threshold energy is going to move back a little bit. Okay, that's my new threshold energy. And now all those particles are going to be able to react. Okay, and those are two ways to speed up the reaction. Um, real quick on this uh, green one here, this would be my new temperature. And the green temperature is greater than the red temperature. Even though it's a lower curve, it's more to the right, that's a greater energy. And that's the quick check.